The Mercedes S-Class Cabriolet is one of my favorite cars of all time. Do you remember that S65 I had a couple of summers ago? That was an absolutely stunning car. But unfortunately, the 12-cylinder model is dead, leaving us with just a V8 option now. This, hey, what? this is the S63 AMG. I left Steve on his rock, and we're going out for a little spin. Okay, so Steve and I decided to switch things up a little bit and have me um, kind of take over this review of this Mercedes AMG S63. And I have to say, when he told me that it was a convertible, I wasn't necessarily excited. I have never been big into convertibles, and I can tell you without a doubt, this car has changed my mind. I would rush home from work to dump my BMW off to get in this car and put the top down because all I wanted to do was drive without the top on. Please make sure you use that correctly, Steve, because <laughs> I can see that going awfully wrong. <laughs> And even the paint is a $7,500 option, you know you're driving something exclusive. Not only is this the most expensive Mercedes convertible, it's also the fastest. This car is custom order, packed with touches from Mercedes Diseño in-house design team. This light brown Napa leather is so choice. Of course, I'd spend nearly $13,000 on it, and what kind of cheapskate would pass on the crystal headlamp accents? Yes, it's true. This car has over $43,000 in options, but there's not one of them I wouldn't want. Anyone care to loan me a quarter of a million? I'm good for it. Like I said, sometimes with these sports cars, these sport luxury cars, I can be a bit intimidated when I get behind the wheel. Um, I don't necessarily feel completely in control. Sometimes I feel like there might be too much car for me, but with this car, I've always felt 100% in control. I've always felt completely confident behind the wheel that I would be able to maneuver any way um, that I would need to and I would be safe. So, um, if you're like me and sometimes the faster they can go, the scarier they can get, um, this, this car is not one to shy away from. When you're talking over 600 horsepower, you've got to be respectful of the car. But with all-wheel drive and the phenomenal stability that these Pilot Sport 3s provide, you can totally go for it without worry. Steve would probably also want me to tell you that the S63 runs with a twin-turbo V8 and a multi-clutch 9-speed automatic. I can tell you it is crazy fast. Just dial in your drive mode from the soft and quiet comfort setting all the way to the hard and loud race program. Whatever your mood, the S63 has got you covered. It's almost too easy to go fast in this car. It's so smooth, you can't, you can't feel that you're going, what am I going right now? I am going 60 miles an hour and a 55, so I'm kind of speeding, but I'm not speeding. Um, anything five over is not speeding. But it is incredibly easy to accelerate and maintain speed in this beautiful car. Either top up or down, I absolutely love the look. It has this majestic yet powerful thing going on that draws me in. And the cabin is to die for, even for four. This is the biggest back seat in the convertible arena. So go ahead and invite a couple of friends. And are you kidding me with all of these fun features? This one has massaging seats with side bolsters that hug you just at the right moment, a neck warmer, killer electronics, a sound system for the ages, night vision, air fragrances, and unbelievable lighting. If you're looking for the most wow factor, just take this beauty out at night. She is spectacular. 
anybody who saw this car, heard this car, was lucky enough to, to go for a ride in this car, absolutely loved it. Hi. <laughs> Like I said, head turner. Zero to 60 in 3.4 seconds in a convertible of this size is ridiculous. But maybe not as ridiculous as the price. This one checks in at over $227,000. And oh yeah, rumor has it this car is going away soon. So you better act fast if it's on your dream car wish list. So I guess it's time to head back and check in on Steve. Are you done yet? Nope. I'm terrified for the bloopers. I'm terrified for what he's gonna be putting in this. He wanted me to show off my personality. Does he know I have multiple? Um, just kidding. <laughs> what is that? What is that? Move, move. Squirrel. So Lance, I know your driving scares me, but I, I, I may have underappreciated your hair and makeup skills. So next time we, we definitely book a convertible, we're gonna need we're gonna need you to show up. So there's that. Do you know that convertibles are usually a curly hair girl? Yes, curly hair girl. Like their biggest nightmare. Because you enter the car and your hair looks perfect, and then you leave the car and your hair is like six times as big. <laughs> My stomach just dropped because I thought the GoPro fell off the car. <laughs> what else, what else, what else, what else, what else? I really hope you don't use that. I don't even remember. I, it started off so good and I don't remember what I said. Oh dear. You know, I took notes. <laughs> For the four days that I had this car, I took notes about what I wanted to say about it and I left them in my office. <laughs> 